Hey everyone, good evening. It is evening for me and today's video was not supposed to originally be a sit down vlog where I just talk about a topic, but it has to be because I accidentally left my GoPro at the podcast studio today where I was filming some stuff. So it looks like that's gonna have to wait um, for another day, which means at six o'clock at night, I had to come up with a video idea uh, last minute. I feel like I, I almost canceled. I was like, you know what? I left my camera at the studio. I'm not feeling well. I've I've talked for four and a half hours today straight doing our podcast. I'm just gonna skip today. And then I was like, no, that is what the old cat would have done being lazy and just taking the easy way out. Instead of just sitting down and actually doing my job when it's hard and when I don't feel like doing it. So that is my nice pathetic little intro to this video. Also, Kappa is like right here. <laughs> He just wanted some attention. You just wanted some attention. Here's your five seconds of fame, buddy. What are you gonna do with it? You gonna sniff my breath? Does it smell like Pringles? So anyways, I'm talking today about the topic of quitting YouTube, quitting passions, quitting on dreams that you used to have. Just kind of the whole concept of moving forward in a different direction in your life than you thought it was going to take. Um, today, I was just like reading an article and like saw some like stuff posted about how PewDiePie said he was going to quit YouTube when he hit the 50 million subscriber mark and start a new account because um, basically right now YouTube is broken and there's just a lot of issues and it, it really affects a lot of content creators, pretty much every content creator. And while he's not quitting YouTube, a lot of people use that as a, ba a baby title, like, oh, quitting YouTube, which I might actually do for this video because I mean, hey, it works. People get mad about clickbait, but they click it every time. So, mm. don't know why I felt the need to get sassy there. Um, anyways, so it just got me thinking about like quitting YouTube and like I never have, con or I haven't really, really, really considered it lately because you know, I, I enjoy it, it's good. But I started thinking about how I actually did give up on another dream of mine. I did quit something that I wanted to do when I was younger and I spent my whole life wanting to do that. So I have basically been telling everyone my whole life up until I was about 20 that I was going to work with whales, I was going to be a dolphin researcher, a whale researcher of some form, and I mean we're talking from like preschool ages, that's when I first went to SeaWorld and I thought it was the coolest thing ever. And I continued to study the animals just like my whole life, like independently, and I was volunteering at the Georgia Aquarium for a couple years, working in, with the belugas, and it was something I was genuinely really passionate about. And then life happened, and internet things started to happen, and I realized I had this other passion that I had no idea existed in me before, before because I just never considered anything else other than marine biology. We become this prisoner of our own decisions and the path that we've created for ourselves in life instead of just letting life happen and accepting that sometimes things change and our passions change and our desires change. And so um, at first I thought that PewDiePie was actually quitting YouTube at 50 million subscribers and it just started making me think like, wow, that's like really brave of him. Like, what is he gonna do next? And it's like, you know, what would be brave of me right now? And then I just started thinking like reflectively for myself, like what choices could I make in life that I'm afraid to do right now? And I think for me, it's just, I am so comfortable with YouTube and you can replace your, YouTube and whatever's going on in your life. So are you studying medicine? Are you studying um, to be a physical therapist? Are you studying law? What is it that's going on in your life that you're comfortable with and you've just kind of done this because that's the what you've always been doing and the trajectory you've set for yourself in life, but what could you do differently that would challenge you and push you um, to take life just to the next level, I guess you could say, because for me, I'm con I'm pretty complacent and content right now with YouTube. It's like things are going fine. They're going how they've always gone, but I could be doing more. And I've just been feeling so bored lately with life and just wanting to do more, whether it's, you know, for politics or like impact on the world out of like an activist perspective or just working more in ways I've never worked before. So whether it's acting, uh, creating a show, things that are really nerve wracking to me, but I should try and I've always just kind of never given them genuine thought because it's a bit scary for me. And there's just a few other career options that 
right now, like that area of my life's not being challenged by being a YouTuber. Like I'm not being fulfilled completely. Um, you know, I don't think any job's ever gonna fulfill you completely. I don't think school is, I don't think a relationship is. There's no, no one thing in your life that's gonna make you feel satisfied. You have to have a balance. You have to be adding things more into your life or else just like human nature is gonna get bored, I think. So for me, I need to be adding more elements of work because I'm not feeling challenged enough with YouTube right now. And sure, like I could say like, oh, I'm gonna try to get 200,000 views on every single video I post. You know, yeah, sure, that's challenging and that would take up time, but that's not really like the route I wanna go. I think I wanna do more like some more humanitarian work or possibly like more volunteering with children and uh, people who are just less fortunate than myself because I would love to be like giving them my time and Right now. I just don't do enough of that and I would also like to do more in business and Just working with more companies whether it's consulting or like marketing stuff. I, I don't know I, I I don't know, I just have these other passions in my life that I haven't really been making room for and I think it's so important to not just stick to one thing and identify with one aspect of your life and making it like exactly who you are. I just feel like I have other dreams and I have other passions like marine biology, like I'm not meeting that passion right now in my life and that's okay because I, I couldn't really focus on that for a while, but I have more time now. Like that's something that makes me genuinely happy and I wish I spent more time figuring out a way to have that passion in my life more, to give me more um, fulfillment and just feelings of, I don't know, just happiness, I guess, because that it's so hard sometimes to, you have to almost like work to be happy and to make sure you're doing your life right and for your own purpose and for nobody else other than yourself. So I don't know, I think right now the point of this video has kind of gotten lost a bit, but I wanted to just encourage you that it's okay to try new things and to not be afraid to explore something you've been curious about and to reach out to people and just ask questions of like if you want to get into a certain career don't don't cop out and make excuses for yourself and be like well yeah, I would like to be better at photography, but I'm really good at science and right now like my biology degree is what I'm focusing on, so I just don't have the time. You know, like if don't make excuses. Like I feel like I make a lot of excuses in life to like not pursue other things. Like I have been considering getting into modeling lately and I've always made excuses for myself like oh I'm too chubby to be a model or I am not totally a plus size model but I'm also not a straight size model so I just couldn't do it and now I'm just like you know what like fuck that like I can be <laughs> whatever I want to be <laughs> but it's like kind of true you know like you set your own limitations in life and I think that we are just so afraid of failure that pursuing something that isn't in our comfort zone is terrifying. So I don't know, I just wanted to like encourage you guys to pursue things that you really believe in while also maintaining the current job that you have. So I'm not gonna like quit being a YouTuber today so I can explore being a model tomorrow. And I don't think I'm gonna wanna do modeling forever so I'm not gonna like put all my eggs in one basket in that regard. And when it comes to business, I'm just, I think it's smart to slowly integrate new things into your life instead of just dropping everything to go for something else. Unless you're absolutely miserable and you really hate what you do and you have an opportunity to quit that and do something else, okay, then do that because that's awesome. If you're given an opportunity to get out of something shitty. Anyways, um, this was just, yeah, I, I hope that you enjoyed hearing some of my thought process with all of this and um, yeah, let, leave some comments down below. Let's have some discussions. I read a lot of my comments. I can't say that I read every one, but I read a lot of them and I love to chat with you guys in the comments down below and I feel like I learn a lot from you and hopefully you can learn something from me and yeah. All right, I think we're done and I will see you guys here tomorrow with an all new video. Bye.